Jones already at 9.825. A couple of 9.9s after that. Needing a 9.775 to win the all-around. I'd say there's a pretty good chance that happens. Very unique first pass. One and a half step out right into a two and a half twist. Fifth in the nation on floor. A 9.925 on Friday to share the title with Utah's Michaela Skinner. Second pass, double tuck, just gets so high that she, there's no way she can miss a landing when you're that high. She knows exactly where she is. I asked Dee Dee Bro where she would put Sarah Finnegan and all the gymnasts that she's coached over 42 years. She said, the top one. That's incredible. She is probably every college coach's dream athlete. She just, she comes with an elite background. She was an alternate in the Olympics. I mean, she just comes with this confidence that you don't find in every athlete. And the amount of times you get to perform here at home, it's starting to run out for Sarah. You know she's cherishing this. Absolutely, and one more pass. Double pike. Wow. There's no such thing as automatic in gymnastics. There She's might pretty be. Close. There, there might be. Hands. That is another big score for LSU. They have to feel so We're good about you. coming off of Friday, back in the PMAC on Sunday, in front of their home crowd. One and a half step out into a two and a half twist. Just, she does it so perfectly, and I don't get to say that enough. Perfect is not a term you get to use in gymnastics all that often, but with Sarah, I feel like I get to say it all the time. Remarkable. She needed a 9.875.